into Brian, who picks up a solid ace king. Eight. He'll make it 800. For Roz, it's going to make it 250 to go. Justin's sticking around. Jack 10 versus 8 6. Flop is an ace king 5. Raz bets. Justin calling. Seven of diamonds on the turn. Now there's three diamonds out there. Interesting card on the turn. Faraz picks up an open ender. Justin now with a flush draw to go along with his gut shot to the queen. Faraz will bet a thousand and Justin will call. Down to the river we go with another diamond. Giving Justin a flush here. Faraz knows his pair of sixes are not likely to be good here, so he is going to turn his hand into a bluff. Justin probably doesn't love it, but is never going to fold. Hey. <laughs> and Frost doesn't even bother showing the six. And Justin really needed that pot. He's a great tournament player, but he loves to play cash as well. I'm on fire, guys. Watch out. He says he's been concentrating lately on just cash games. This one might make him go back to tournaments. 300 by Justin. Call by Brian. Raised by Faraz to 1800 with Ace Queen. Don't do it, Justin. Get out of the way, buddy. Call. Justin reached the point of the evening where every hand looks pretty good, makes the call with 4 3 suited. Brian, not a folder, also comes along. And it is Jack 8 5, two spades and a heart. Not much for any of our three players on this board. Yeah. Yeah, they all go check. King on the turn, three spades. Roz may choose to represent the king on the turn. Does look like he wants to cut out a bet here and fire 42. And that's going to work. And the rich get richer. Roz was the season eight WPT player of the year. He's married, has a baby on the way. 17 WPT caches. Get a free entry into a $5,000 guaranteed tournament and play online poker for real cash and prizes at clubwpt.com. Sign up for free today using bonus code YT23. We got a call by Brian. And Justin with Kings. Sure. Gonna try to disguise the strength of the hand. Then there were two. What are you doing? You're up against the guy who hates folding. Flops an ace for a deuce. Three spades. This pair of kings ahead of most of Brian's range in the big blind. He also has the nut spade draw. So his plan to play this slow may be working out for him. Jack on the turn. Brian's got nothing out here, so check, check. Down to the river, it's another spade. Oh. I'm gonna win a massive pot. I just don't get what Justin is doing here, Vince. Justin with a missed opportunity. Like how I played that? Was that uh -huh. pretty good? He got my hopes up. Thank goodness Froz didn't see that and put it on his coaching video. <laughs> <laughs> I've been post Froz a few times this, this time. That have been content for a week about how not to play. <laughs> and this is why I really enjoy Justin, is he's a very self-deprecating, easygoing guy, doesn't take himself too seriously. He doesn't know how I played that, that hand right there, so let's not tell him. That is Charlie Vibes. Apparently sensing some bad vibes from Brian Ercolano. Thinks that he's out to get him. But thus far, Johnny has had the better of that matchup, along with Faraz Jaka. They've basically taken turns beating up on the recreational player on this table. Justin Young run into some coolers, and then his game unraveled a little bit. Also down a lot on the night. This time, Johnny vibes with a pair of 10s, has raised it. Call. Called by Brian. Faraz also sticking around with his queen, deuce of hearts. Let's flop. King 10, three. Three of a kind for Johnny Vibes. Can't ask for much better in Johnny's shoes. Johnny with middle set, Brian with top pair. Brian probably thinking he's good here too. 
Little does he know the monster that awaits. Just calling. Faraz taking a break. So Johnny vibes in a beautiful place right now. Nine of hearts on the turn. I understand Johnny's caution here with the nine completing queen jack, but Brian has been so sticky. I'd actually like to see Johnny bet his hand on this turn, but I certainly don't fault a check. And now facing this bet of 800. Johnny cuts out a call. Down to the river we go. Oh, and it is a money card for Johnny Vibes. He's gonna fill up and look to get in a check raise on Brian. This is just a thing of beauty. So Brian bets 1,200. Now on Johnny to decide his sizing. And if I'm in Johnny's shoes, I'm going real big with that check raise. Over the top to 4,500. We'll get called by Brian here. Ooh. I said. I do think he could have gone for more and likely been called. Brian has been so sticky on the river. Whenever he has a decent pair, I think Johnny really could have squeezed him there. Absolutely. But still a nice hand from Johnny Vibes. We'll take down that pot and pad his winnings. Yeah, that one hurt. Now it's on Faraz, our big winner today. Taking a break, Johnny also. Justin with the sixes, makes it 300 to go, and an attractive king, queen of spades for Brian, goes up to 800 into Justin's pair of sixes. Same two guys, two desperados. Let's see the flop. It's a queen, 10, four, two diamonds. Good for Brian hitting top pair, gonna check. Don't quite know why Brian is checking on this board. It's a really good one for his hand with some backdoor possibilities, and he has a great image to get called down by worse. And yet he has checked the flop and turn. Now he's finally coming out with a bet of 1,500. And uh, again, Justin. I don't know, man against a bluffy player who isn't really representing much here and oh. is gonna get stuck in. He would be disappointed to find good out that his sixes now. are nowhere close to good, and Justin gets the worst end of that matchup. I'll tell you something, the bull stuck a lot, so sometimes when you stuck a lot in a cash game, you start to check things because you say, I, you know, I'm not gonna get even by winning a moderate pot. I need to win a big one. And I think that's what's happening to both those players at this point. They're looking for the big kill and maybe giving away some of that moderate money they could be making and should be making. Yeah, I agree with you there, Vince. I think Brian missed an opportunity to win a nice medium-sized pot. 400 for Brian. 400. And it's been called by Faraz. Jack, 7-3 on the flop. Brian out in front with Jacks. 800 for Raz with sevens. With the backdoor flush draw to go with it. Faraz makes the call, going to the turn. And a king on the turn will also improve him to the best hand. Oh, wow, kings and sevens for Faraz. They both check. Nine of hearts on the river. Brian now with jacks and nines for us, kings and sevens. What a river card. He's gonna check and let Brian bet it. Wow, Brian has bet two times the size of the pot. So while I imagine Faraz intended the check raise, the size of that bet may lead him to just call. Oh. Yeah. No raise. Brian has to think that hand is good. He's gonna be shocked. Look at his eyes. So the winners keep getting richer. You just always got it, huh? No, I don't, I hope. You always just have barely enough, too. Like you never have like queen 10 there. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you, Lynn. As we can see, Faraz Jaka, our biggest winner of the evening, up almost 65,000. Johnny Moreno doing well, up 27 grand. Shane essentially even, and it is Justin Young and Brian Ercolano who have taken the biggest hits. Blinds are 50 and 100. Big blind, oh. Annie of 100 as well. And here we go. It's been called by Brian and raised by Faraz. Makes it 400 to go. Brian 
Who is stuck tonight? The entrepreneur from Vegas will make the call. Seven, five, deuce, four spades for Furaz. Full straw, backdoor straight draw, two overcards. Mere 350 bet. Oh, those 50s gets me every time. When Brian has to be involved with every pot, no matter what he has now. Yeah, Brian really doesn't have much here, so he's just speculating going forward in this hand. Technically, he does have the lead here with queen high, but there's just no draw, no pair, no future. But no fear. But no fear, because he's calling this turn, but he's doing it. Now, Faraz with a ton of outs going to the river. That's not one of them. He'll have to bluff if he wants to win. Check. 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 Queen high. Look at this! Sweet. It's good. I knew it! I was gonna get you! <laughs> Are you gonna call? <laughs> wow! There we go. I was totally just trying to chase and river you and just say I'm <laughs> desperate. Time's running out. Damn it. I missed a bet. I would have called. <laughs> I don't give a <laughs> I don't think you would have called. I don't Absolutely. think you would have called. Not backing down. Oddly enough, that's the kind of hand Faraz is probably happy to lose. Like, you see your opponent call you down with queen high, no pair, no draw, no nothing. You think, all right, if that's how it's going to be, I'm just happy for you to keep doing it. Faraz with ace jack this time makes it 300 to go. Into Brian, who picks up a solid ace king. Eight. He'll make it 800. Shane Sigsby, non professional player, the backs poker players, he's gone out. And Faraz will call. So here we go ace king versus ace jack. And the flop's an ace queen six. Great flop for Brian with the bigger kicker. Faraz playing it cautiously, just calling. Going to the turn. Seven of diamonds. Brian has been more of a caller pre-flop than three better, so that perhaps may signal to Faraz he actually has a real one here. But of course, with top pair, not gonna fold for 1,500 on this turn, and we go to a river. Ten of spades. Yeah, that does complete King Jack and eight nine. Brian showing some caution, checks over to Faraz, and Faraz, a sort of surprising but very nice check back. Had to be tempting to bet against somebody as sticky as Brian. Don't call it a comeback. Comeback, baby. I'm not going down without a fight. I'd just rather bust. <laughs> <laughs> bust for nothing. Action is with Johnny Moreno. Johnny will fold. Justin Young has raised it with king nine of spades. Brian calls. Nice hand. I don't even know what to do anymore. <laughs> Should I dark bet? I'm going to dark bet. How about that? Four. I just don't know anymore. This is one of my weaker hands in the past few, just to let you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he bets 400 to the dark, and he flops trips. What a dream. Do you want me to call? I don't know anymore. I want to say yes, but like the answer is probably no. I'm chasing. Oh, then yeah. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> I'm just I've got a nothing. Yeah, I want you to call. Is this poker, Vince? Yeah, what are call. we watching? I'm gonna I'm gonna have to see the turn here. Deuce on the turn. I know he's chasing. Justin's gonna bet 1100. You queen. Ask ask for us. He knows what I have. He literally knows. Brian is drawing dead going to the river. Even a douche can't save him. Such a bad hand, but I think I have you beat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, have a good night. <laughs> Had a really good time. I'll check it if you want. Oh, it's up to you. I'll call it, too. And with that queen on the river, the deuces of Brian have been counterfeited, so now he just has queens and nines with a jack. <laughs> Wanna do that? <laughs> Justin can confidently bet his hand because he knows Brian doesn't have a queen after his talk on the flop and turn. For the record, that was a pity call before. I was just, you know. No, no. Hey. Hey. You're welcome. I didn't know how to, uh, You're welcome. That was a donation. My my dog will thank you. Kind of got a penny more out of me. That was generous. Yes. Uh merciless. 
Most of my friends, honestly, that I've talked to over the last 10 years, their goal was to get out of poker, to make enough money where they could do something where they don't have to really work that hard or find a new passion. I'm not that way. I grew up playing games. I would beg my dad and my mom to like play games with me every day and every night. This is heaven to me. It really is. I, I enjoy poker every single day I play. Oh, that's great. He seems like he enjoys <laughs> it. He won the WPT title at the Seminole Hard Rock. All I had to do was just dark bet and flop trips. That's all I had to do. I think you also really needed that deuce to call on the turn. <laughs> I, yeah. I also yeah. agree with that, too. You really did. That is so true, it's sad. You can tell that despite being stuck, he's still an upbeat guy, and that is what separates him from a lot of players. Many of them just can't enjoy a session that's gone wrong, and Justin telling the truth when he says he loves playing poker, win or lose. 700. All right, we're going down to this hand, four-way action. Call. Call. Braz will get out of the way with the 6-3 suited. Oh. I don't want to leave you hanging. I was about to say, I'll take any two out of the muck and I'll call. Let's take a look. It is a 9-8-4. Nobody truly connects on this board. Shane with two over cards, a gut shot, and a backdoor flush draw. And I do think Shane should be betting in position with this type of hand here. His passive tendency is showing up a little bit there with the check behind. Now on the turn, Brian with the heart flush draw bets. Shane goes out, and Johnny. Johnny Moreno with just ace high, undeterred. and gets a perfect ace of clubs river. Check. Well, he's gonna check. And Brian can't win without bluffing. Call, oh, I hit the ace. Oh. Ugh, God, you <laughs> river in me. <laughs> I draw. And 1100 will not get the job done. Johnny Moreno, also known as Johnny Vibes, he's a YouTube personality. Ace made my decision so easy on the river. Nice turn. Johnny playing well tonight. This is above his usual stakes. Johnny is a mid-stakes cash grinder and YouTuber. Stepped up to the plate tonight and is faring very well here. And there is Shane. He's raised it to 400. Oh. Baraz calling King-10 in position. Catch. Oh. Brian over calling 6-4 offsuit. Flop is a king 10 3. Faraz has hit top two pair. When you're hot, you're hot. Faraz is the hottest guy on this table. And that's just not commentary on his style. 1,050 from Shane. Backdoor straight and flush draw. Faraz is going to call. Brian going to fold. But now Shane's got a four flush. We'll bet right into Faraz, who also turns a spade flush draw. If he should river a spade, he'll probably double up through Faraz. Faraz in front with a king 10, nothing on the river. So Shane doesn't get there, but look at this. A lot of courage coming up here. He's going to make a big bet. Mm. 5,500. I don't think we really want spades in our hand to be bluffing here. To his credit, Shane has a great image to run a bluff like this. But the bad news is delivered from Faraz with top two pair. He pushes all in. I like that Shane has come out of his shell a little bit and played this hand more aggressively. I just don't really think it was the right hand to make that bluff on the river. And Faraz continues to stack as we see Shane add 10,000 to his. Do you guys have like a dumbbell or something so the table doesn't flip over? <laughs> Get a free entry into a $5,000 guaranteed tournament and play online poker for real cash and prizes at clubwpt.com. Sign up for free today using bonus code YT23. Welcome back to fabulous Las Vegas. We're at the WPT Cash Game presented by Baccarat Crystal. Five players competing for big money here tonight. Down to the belt we go. This is Shane Sigsby, the poker backer, folding Faraz out. 
Johnny Vibes also not gonna play. Justin Young, WPT champion, is gonna raise it. I'm pack committed. <laughs> what could go wrong? I should bet dark. I'm not gonna bet dark. I don't have, no, 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 go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I don't have the confidence this time. Justin and Brian, the only two players down, both of them with a big hole to dig out of. Brian out flopping Justin here, hits sevens on seven three deuce. Justin starts with a bet of 400, and Brian hits him with the min raise. It's nice form, that's pretty cool. <laughs> These two have squared off countless times in the course of our session. A lot of practice throwing chips in. Ten of spades on the turn. Doesn't change much about this texture. Check, check. River card, ten of clubs. Don't do it, Justin, no! Sixteen. Bluffing a guy who hates folding. Uh, <clears throat> Did I get it right? Oh, I put too many. Sorry, sorry. He laid that down? Right. Yay! I don't even know if it... It's probably good. It's only blessed I get away with. <laughs> I'm trying to find a positive way to spin that hand, but I just can't do it, Vince. What a mess. Pretty stunned myself. Maybe he misread it. That was not pretty. Here's Johnny. Three hundred. Ace King makes it three hundred to go. Good bet. Brian. Gonna call. Shane will fold for us. Gonna call. An eight six four on this flop. Faraz, flopping bottom two pair, leads out. These are the kind of textures that the big blind gets to lead, and you're up against one opponent and Johnny, who's gonna play pretty snug on this flop, and another in Brian, who's gonna play really loose. Perfect execution from Faraz again. King of Diamonds, no help for Brian on the turn. Faraz will continue betting for value. Nice big bet of 1,600 into 18. Brian calling a hand that really should fold at this stage. So Brian drawing to a five. And a 10 on the river. Faraz now fires out a bet over pot, 5,500 into 5,000. And that's finally going to do it. Brian goes away. Faraz Jocker increases his chip lead, taking down pot after pot. One again. Colin? Colin. I've been playing poker tournaments for over 15 years now, and I've seen a lot of people come and go. And I'm not surprised because it is very difficult. Faraz out. You're losing, you're losing, you're losing, and you're just tasting that big score all year. You know, that's tough to be doing this for a living and not have guaranteed income. In terms of my secret to kind of longevity in the game, it's a mix of a lot of things. First of all, it's kind of being able to manage your finances in a really mature, organized way. And you gotta be really mentally tough and focused and not results oriented. I've done stuff like go to a meditation retreat to learn tricks and hacks to kind of stay focused and stay positive, you know, when you're going through these downswings. You can be the best tournament player in the world, and you can be losing for like a couple years. But, um, you know, that's what also makes tournaments so awesome because if it was easy, everybody would do it. I couldn't agree more with Faraz and very much enjoyed the fashion show he put on from all those clips of his various final tables. He has always brought it in that department. Well, he has survived all those years, so he's doing something right. He's gonna raise. Johnny folds. Justin is gonna fold. Brian calls. Faraz hitting top trips up against his ATM, Brian Ercolano. Garbage bag Brian with a garbage bag hand here. Gonna continue with what is really only a hint of a hand. Well, a backdoor straight draw materializes. He now has a gut shot to a four. Play goes to Brian Ercolano. He's a desperate man doing desperate things, making desperate calls, hoping to get lucky. He's up against a monster with Faraz. And lucky Whoa. he'll get. Four on the river will complete Brian's inside straight. 
You gotta be kidding. We've seen this play out a few times where Brian makes his hand on the river and then leads out really big. And that's why Faraz, with trips and an ace high kicker, looks so conflicted about calling this bet. But he's not gonna fold to garbage bag and he's gonna make the call. Nicely done, Brian. You stuck around, you showed some heart, and he deserves a win once in a while. What a fish. <laughs> Can't believe he paid you off. <laughs> I agree. What's he doing?